Hi everyone, my name is Armin Johan. I'm a first year medical student studying in Malaysia and today I'm going to tell you my journey before I enter medical school. Before I start with my primary school and my um, secondary school, I'm just going to say that being a doctor is always a dream of mine. Some people when they're like 6 years old, the usual cita-cita that people always say was I want to be a scientist, I want to be a policeman, I want to be I want to be a firefighter, I want to be a doctor, I want to be um an astronaut, you know? So yeah, that was the common chitter chitter for everyone during my time uh, before uh, I entered primary school, for Karika, I think. But me, I always wanted to be a doctor when I was 6 years old, when I'm 15 years old, when I'm 17 years old, I always want to be a doctor. I never changed that, except during I was Form 2, because that is when my YouTube channel blew up. And during that time, I... I'll tell you later, alright? Why doctor? Why medicine? Maybe because my mom is a doctor. My mom is a neonatologist. She's a pediatrician. She, uh, she's a doctor, basically. So, like, I'm exposed to this medical world since I was little and um, I fell in love with it. So, enough of that. Let's start with the PSR. During my primary school years, I, consider my, I can consider myself an okay student. I'm not the best, but I'm an okay student. I was a nerd back then. I'm a big Michael Jackson fan for some reason. I'm a fan of Michael Jackson after he died. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I was a nerd back then. I don't study much, but I was an okay student back then. And I got four A's and one B for my UPSR. The thing I'm most pissed off is the B that I receive through my UPSR result is English. Why? I'm so pissed off because of that. Because English was my favorite subject and it was basically my best subject during my primary school years. It was science and English but mostly English and I got B for English. One thing that I'm grateful for is I got A for maths. Maths, I'm bad at maths. Maybe that's why I'm going for medicine because I hate maths. Even though we still have maths in medicine but we just not talk about it. But yeah, I'm really bad at maths and um, I usually got C for maths during my primary school years. And somehow I got an A for math. And yeah, I got an A for math. The only subject that I think I would fail, I got A. I could have got five A's, straight A's back then. But the thing that pissed me off is I got B for English, my favorite subject. And till this day, it bothers me. And things would go way different if I got five A's and maybe I go to SBP and I'd be a better student and I'm probably be a better student now, you know? But Alhamdulillah, everything happened for a reason. And, uh, yeah, all of this because Allah never say no, you know. Allah always say yes, yes, but not now. Or I have a better plan for you, you know. And maybe back then, because of my result, I didn't get what I wanted back then. I wanted to go to Alam Shah, uh, SBB, you know. That was my basically where I planned to go for my secondary school. But yeah, things didn't go as planned because of my English result. But you know, somehow, here I am. <laughs> so done with UPSR, let's go to secondary school. First exam, PT3. PT3, 2016. 2016 was the year that I'm not really into my studies. I was focused on my YouTube channel. So yeah, let's talk about my YouTube channel back then. When I was Form 1, I'm on a YouTube channel. I upload a lot of videos back then. I was really passionate about my YouTube channel and somehow it blew up. Alhamdulillah, back then, I, you know, I somehow I managed to get 10K in less than a year, if I'm not mistaken. And it was an amazing year. And during that time, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna make YouTube as my full-time job. You know, F studying, F all of this bull crap. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna focus my YouTube and get money from YouTube, you know? But what made me think is for how long, you know, for how long can I do this? For how long can I play games to entertain people? Because I lost the passion of playing games. I don't have the joy of playing games and I basically force myself to play games for my YouTube channel. And me, myself, I don't play games. I don't play games. Don't go at me, but I don't play games now. So back to the story, 2016 was the year that I was too focused on my YouTube channel and I didn't really care about my study and it was the PD3 year. I wasn't really focused and uh, I really didn't care at first except three months before PD3. That is when I realized, you know what, I gotta do this, you know, because my PD3 results are gonna determine me where I go next. Science stream, accounting stream, art stream, we don't know and my results will determine that and I want to go to science stream because I know I always wanted to be a doctor 
you know youtube is just a distraction of my main goal but my main goal my real goal is to be a doctor one day so i study i start focusing three months before and three months is not enough three months is not enough you know and for pediatry i only got four a's four a's out of ten a's it's not the best result it is bad you know i realize it is bad and yeah on the day that i got my result i cried on the way back because i know with this result i can't get into science stream if i can't go into science stream i can't be a doctor you know i'm not there i'm not even in the stream i wanted to be form four i end up being in accounting class accounting class is where i really hate myself i really don't want to be there it's not that i hate accounting what you like is your choice you know you love accounting good for you i'm proud of you i support you me i don't like accounting i don't like anything but science science is me i'm science i love science and not being there kind of pisses me off and kind of make me feel like you know no I, I i basically give up you know whatever happened happens i don't really care i think like you know give me a chance give me a chance in science stream for like three months i'm gonna prove it to you that i'm worthy of being here in the science stream so the school gave me three months trial in science class and uh yeah i joined in two weeks before the exam and it was the holiday the chinese new year 2017 and do you know what i did during that one week break i called my tutor my tuition teacher shout out to teacher Ima, and i studied everything in that one week in that one week i studied everything all the topics i missed out during those two months i was in accounting class because i want to score this exam i want to prove it to the teachers i want to prove it to the school that i'm worthy of being there and what did i get for my ub1 my ujim london satu i got seven a's one b and one fail it was at maths now i'm going to talk about it but i got seven a's i got a for bio a for physics b for chemistry and i you know i'm done you know like i prove it to you guys i'm here i'm worthy of being here i'm staying and i stayed alhamdulillah because of my ub1 result i stayed in science stream until my to the end lah so spm SPM year was tough. 2018 was a tough year. It was a very challenging year. It was a very weird year. 2018 started bad. My dad got into a heart attack early that year. And um, it was a very tough year. And during 2018, I was not myself. I wasn't there. My mind is not there. I was very distracted with things in life. And um, I start focusing maybe only started like half of the year when i started to focus and to study because early that year it was very tough early that year it was very challenging for me and i started to really focus like half the year and what did i get for spm i only got five a's only five a's i'm not a straight a student all right not even close to a straight a student so the spm result i got five a's and uh, one thing is my a's wasn't strong it was the basic subject and um i got c for chemistry why did I highlight chemistry? Because to be in a medical school, to be a medical student, you need to get, you need to have at least three Bs. B for bio, B for physics, B for chemistry, and B for maths or at maths. I got C for chemistry. So chemistry is a subject that prevent me from being qualified to apply for medical school. So what, what did I felt during that time? I was pissed off, I was mad, I was upset. I was sad of course, I was, um, I really don't know because I always wanted to be a doctor. My SPM result didn't let me, you know, I didn't know where I'm going to go, what I'm going to pursue. So during that period of, you know, like discussing and uh, figuring out where I'm going to go, what course I'm going to take and uh, where I'm going to take it. So I almost went for electrical engineering in MMU, Cyberjaya. But then I looked up this university in Cyberjaya too. It has a biomedical engineering. Alright. Biomedical engineering is a I could say it's an interesting course. Basically what they do is um, they handle the machine. They're not only engineers, they also have these medical knowledge to help them to make them qualify to work in a hospital environment. So I think like, you know what, let's do this, just go for biomedical engineering. Maybe I'm gonna like it, you know, maybe if I go for it. In time, I'm gonna like it, you know, I, I'll have interest in it. To go for bachelor degree, I need to go for foundation first. So I went for 
uh, foundation in allied science. Before I entered foundation, I sent my chemistry result for a recheck. Okay, so just to know if you know if there's any chance of getting upgraded, you know, to be for me to qualify. You know, I need to pay hundred ringgit, but you know, just give it a try. You regret it if you're not even gonna try. So I'm just gonna go for it. And you know, tawakal doa. If Allah says yes, alhamdulillah. But if it's not, it's fine. You know, I'm going for Bayou Medical Engineering. It's okay. I'm gonna like it. I'll try to like it. And I'll try to have interest in it. So I went for foundation in allied science. So during my time in foundation in in allied science, I made a really really wonderful friends. They're still my friends till this day, and I appreciate them. I love them so much. And uh, shout out to you guys. What happened next? Really 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 changed my life it was after a year it was shortly after midterm yeah after midterm for my foundation sem one and uh, it was after a year if i'm not mistaken on my way back from campus back home i received a message in my admits group you know shout out to chick rosie you know she basically told the whole group why i don't know why she told the whole group but she told the whole group that my new results came in for my recheck and alhamdulillah ya allah i got a b for chemistry and that b basically brought me back up so basically that b qualifies me to go for medicine you know that b is so precious and i'm grateful i'm really really grateful and thank you to whoever marks my paper again and upgrade my grades from c to b i'm really grateful May Allah bless you, whoever you are, wherever you are. So what happened next? I straight away contacted my person in charge, and I just asked her, Miss, I went for a recheck from chemistry result. I gotta be, can I still go for foundation in science? Because if you wanna go for medicine, you need to go for foundation. But it's a different foundation. It's foundation in science. While where I am now is foundation in allied science. If I wanna go for medicine, I need to go to foundation in science. So I asked the person in charge, Miss, I got my results. I got B. Can I still go for foundation in science? She said yes, and straight away I sent my result. I sent my IC. I sent everything, the application and stuff, and uh, I'm in. All right. So now I'm going to talk about the interview. This interview concludes for my foundation and also for my medicine for my MBBS course. If I do this interview now, they won't interview me next time when I'm going for medicine in the same university of course i don't really remember the date but during the interview day i met my friend hafiz what did they ask during their interview before they gave us this question the question if i'm not mistaken was what why i want to be a doctor and what is my vision if i'm not mistaken lah, what is my vision and stuff and i need to make an essay of my answer so i did it I just write everything why I want to be a doctor, why, why, what, what's my vision, and where, where I see myself in the next five years and all. And um, I sent that, and we sat somewhere. I wait for our turn to be interviewed. So they called my name, and it's my turn to be interviewed. So what, what was the question? So what was the question they asked? Basically, they asked, like, tell me your name, your background, and of course the famous question, why you want to be a doctor, who inspires you? to be a doctor and a bunch of few other questions but the last question was they gave us this quote read the quote and tell them what do you think about the quote and what does the quote mean i read the passage and i told them my interpretation of the passage of the quote and uh, that is the end of the interview session i went back home and i'm really 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 hoping that i got accepted to this medical school well it was the same university but you know the medical faculty so one thing after the interview session i told my person in charge with my parents i told them if i got accepted i nazar not poso for seven days to smingu not poso smingu straight you know it's not like one day and skip few days another one day two days you know but a week stretch that shows how i'm really really passionate about this and i really really want to be a doctor and i really really want to be there you know so alhamdulillah after two weeks i got my result and i got in and uh, yeah i did my nazar i did plaster for a week so now i'm in i'm in foundation in science this is where i think i want to be and to get there, to get into your foundation is a journey itself. But now I'm already in. I'm just one step away before I enter medical school as a medical student 
and pursue medicine for the rest of my life. And this is where I want to be. This is it. I need to focus from the start. I need to set goals for myself and I can't screw this up because to be here is a blessing itself. And to go further is my aim. And Alhamdulillah, my foundation went well. Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful. I got two high achiever awards. Um, it's basically like Dean Lee's kind of, but not, you know, for both of my SAMs. Alhamdulillah, after I got my result from my foundation, my overall result, I straight away sent it to my person in charge and um, she applied MBBS for me. And here I am now, a first year medical student. And my journey to be where I am right now it's not easy because I'm not an excellent student. I'm not a good student. I got four A's for my four has always been my unlucky number. I got four A's for UPSR, I got four A's for PD3, and for SPM trials, I got four A's. And I told myself, you know what? Never gonna get four A's too for SPM. But but how like I got five. But still, you know. So my journey before I became a medical student was uh, a roller coaster. I don't have the right to say that I made it. Because I'm just a first year student. I have another five years to go, another five hard years to go. But you know what? I'm proud of myself because I'm here. But I need to work harder for the next five years, the next 10 years, or the next 30 years because this is what I want and this is what I'm passionate about. And you, if you're thinking about being a medical doctor in the future, don't give up. Go for it. Don't stop. If you're not a good student, don't worry. I'm not a good student. But if you work for it, you get there. You can do it. I really don't have the right to say that I'm a good student or a gifted student because I'm not. I'm not a good student. But I worked hard and I know what I want. If you know what you want, maybe it's not medicine, just go for it. If you're thinking of engineering, go for it. If you're thinking of architecture, go for it. If you're thinking of art, music, go for it. Don't let people bring you down and tell you what to do and not what to do. It's your life, you know what to do. One Brit sound British for some reason, no idea, oh my god. But the point is, don't let other people's voices bring you down. Because me back then, after my pediatric result, they say I can't do it, I can't make it. They doubt my capability being in the science stream. But I proved them wrong and now it's your turn to prove other people. It's your turn to prove all the doubt is wrong. To tell them, you got it, you can do it and you're better than what they think you are. And prove to them that you can succeed with your own effort, with your own hard work, because if I can do it, and I'm not a good student, and you, you're a smart student, you're an excellent student, and I'm pretty sure, I'm really sure that you can do it, and you'll get there, I promise you. And I support you, I got you, whoever you are, behind the screen, I got you. I'm here, I support whatever you want and whatever you're going through, I got you. And yeah, that is all from me. So basically, that's my journey before I entered medical school. And yeah, I'm probably gonna do the same video in the next five years after I graduate as a medical doctor. And I'm gonna tell you my journey as a medical student going through preclinical years and the clinical years and finally graduating as a medical doctor. And that's station for five years, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I guess that is all everyone. Thank you so much for watching. It's a long video, I understand. And I really appreciate it for those who watched this video until the end. And yeah, thank you for watching. This is me, Iman Johan. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.